Okay, let's spread some goo on the machine. I don't think this... Either it's got some pretty tough shielding, or it's too old to be compatible. From the look of it, I'd say the second one. Oh. Hmm. That complicates things. It's the mole file representing epinephrine. There isn't much I can do with it myself. I should find something to load it onto. Can I just load it into the machine? I can't just upload it onto the machine. I can't make a connection with it. Yeah. I need to get inside it to get to its memory. All right, so I've got a pry it open. Uh, could I do that with a fork? The fork won't fit in the seams around the edges. If I could find something more precise, though. More precise. Well, that's by far the most precise thing I have, right? Unless these tokens? No, there's no way. Ugh, how much of this slot? No, I don't want any more. Something more precise. Hmm. Like a screwdriver or something, right? I can't get the screws out with my bare. Well, I can mess with this now that the camera isn't looking. There. The table has been freed. I think it looks better without the screws. I think it looks... I think it... Okay, table's free. That's cool. But what do I do with the table? It won't bring up the menu. The table's just like the rest of Cell. Gray, functional, probably stronger than it ought to be. The table's only got one leg, but it looks pretty strong. I think it looks better. I think the the table gray. Yeah, so it's freed, so I can move it. I can't seem to actually move it by directly using it, though. I can't use it. Am I supposed to use something on the base? It doesn't. I can't use. Prying it open with. The wetware. What do I do with it? I thought maybe I would take and, like, use the screws or something for something, but apparently not. That's just to be able to move the table. There's the vent, but... I can't seem to move the table, so... I can't... I think it looks better. Alright, stand on top of it. Maybe if I stand on top and then try to use the vent, she'll move it? I can't re... I think it looks... Not for my... I can't... How do I move the table? It's been freed. Table base, table. Oh, what? You have to move your cursor to the side of the table? It just up... Wow, okay, so hotspots appear at the side of the table and it just doesn't tell you that at all. That's, that's great. Cool. <clears throat> Adventure games. That's not going to help me get through. It's, like, built into the wall. If I wanted to get through, I'd need to cut it out. Well, I don't actually want to get through. I just need a precise tool, right? That's not- I'm just gonna assume that I'm supposed to use something on it. That's not- So I'm just gonna try everything on it. That's not- That's not- Okay, I guess not. Not from up here. Not from up- well, cool. You you know you can get off the table and then do it. I am annoyed. Let's pull it the other direction. I can't reach it from. You what? You could totally Not reach it. I can't reach it from here. You liar. You. Hmm. There's like a thing above the door, but I can't touch it. I think it. Yeah, there's four hotspots on the table. There's the table base, there's the table, there's pull left, and then there's pull right. And to get off the table, you have to click on table. Not on table base or pull table. You have to click on table to get off. It's really finicky. Alright, keep pulling it. Now can you reach it? I can reach it, but I'm going I'm going to need something more precise to get it. Otherwise, I might as well just smack. I need something more precise for the food machine, too. 
Damn it. It doesn't. I think it. Lo I'm guessing I can't pull it anymore to the right. There's no more room. <sighs> I need something precise to pull open the food machine and the camera, so obviously the precise thing is not going to come from the camera. For if I had the precise thing, then I wouldn't need to get at the camera for a precise thing. The wetware won't form a. I'm just gonna use everything it on it. I can't. I'm frustrated. I'm gonna find what to do. I'll be right back. Hmm. Well, I went back to Jinzel and it looks like there's a million things I can ask her, so maybe one of these will lead me to the answer of what I need to do. You're occupying this terminal's internet port. Mind if I connect to the transfer you? I'm sorry, that's not possible. Oh, come on, man. I'll only be a few GBPS. I haven't been on in, like, hours. I can assure you, the trance won't be going anywhere without you. Wow, I can be really persistent about this. Come on, I need to get back in there. I'm sorry, I have to keep this port open for our data miners. Plus, it may not be safe for you. They've already got me in here. What's the worst that can happen? Think it through. If whoever has been targeting you notices you've come back online... They'd realize I was still alive. ...and exactly where you are. I'm sorry, but until we find out exactly who they are and what they want, you're going to have to remain out of the trance. <laughs> What's Guy's job, then? He's a good friend of our cause. Works as a relay. We keep a connection open to him, and he finds a way to get as physically close as possible to secure systems. He looks like he could do with your help. His link was lost several hours ago. The Trojan psychophage he's infected with. He has used some risky tactics for getting inside Cell before. While successful, it appears that his work may have overcome him. What's your beef with Cell anyway? It must be something pretty big to go after one of the most secure systems in the world. In an organization like ours, the word secure raises red flags. The mere fact that Cell is so opaque tells us they've something they feel worth hiding. I've never had any problems with them. They seem to do all right running the city. As long as you remain within your ever-flexible world of the trance, certainly. You may, however, miss that which happens in the tangle of the real that Central controls. And today there was an opportunity we just couldn't pass up. Something's wrong with Central. Did you do it? Not us. We've never seen anyone quite so devastatingly successful. A multi-vector heuristic denial of service attack against Central's inner systems. But for that you'd need thousands. Hundreds of thousands of systems well prepared working in synchronicity. Or access to its innermost workings. It's almost too good to be true, all of Central down at a moment's notice. How's the city still running? They'll have auxiliary mechanisms in place. Newton's autonomic nervous system to Central's higher brain functions. With Central suddenly down, cell security system was weaker than ever. Precisely. An opportunity that Jahilia couldn't pass up. Hmm, well, if, if it would require a massive denial of surface attack to take down Central, then I wonder if somebody perhaps released a virus or something of the sort that got some sort of a botnet type thing going on. Just hundreds of thousands of people's computers all participating in the attack at the same time. I read Shishiki sometimes. What's wrong with them? That depends. If you want the banal and the trivial, they're absolutely fine. By having a stranglehold on the world's media industry, they are capable of controlling what the majority of the population are aware of. Are they lying to us? No, merely deceiving. Huh? What they want people to know, they'll report wholly, truthfully, and factually. This is how they've established their credibility. If they are their allies wish something to be suppressed, they have thousands of hackers on staff to destroy systems that pose a threat. You're kidding. Not at all. They lead the world in private sector espionage through a number of subsidiaries. As far as Jahilia are concerned, the things most worth knowing are those that others wish hidden. That is why we work against Chishiki, to ensure that the world knows the whole truth. This apartment looks almost exactly like mine. Well, except for all the data artifacts. And it's cleaner. Not surprising, since it was right above yours. Are you sure that agent wasn't targeting this apartment? Unlikely. The occupant was away long term. Together with trapping you within your apartment and outside of the trance... Yeah, I thought so. Just hoped it might be someone else they were after. Then I could get back to my trance. Guy's going to help me get out, but what then? 
I can't exactly go home anymore. We have much to discuss, and that would be better done at a secure site. There are a number of terminal nodes we use as drop points. One of those will suffice. But remember, do not access the trance on the net until we confirm it's safe. Uh, any idea why they're after me? Hmm. Have you been hacking anyone you shouldn't have? Nobody who tried to kill me, anyway. Could it be related to Cell? It was an agent who planted the bomb. Not directly. If it was, they'd have finished you rather than keeping you prisoner. I have some theories as to what's going on, but we'll know more for certain later. Once you've had a chance to pull data out from Central while it's down. Exactly. Thanks. Off one. Unfortunately, that did not really help me understand exactly what I'm supposed to do, although it was interesting. Let's go talk with the guy again. Do you have anything more to say? I don't suppose you have a fine implement that you could somehow give me and allow me to take into the real world, even though all of this is not really... real? Well, it is real, but... You know, if I pick something up here, I can't exactly take it with me. Hi, guy. Hey there. Hello. She wasn't talking to you. Nah, these are all the same questions I basically asked before. Except maybe this one. I'm not sure about this one. So, why are you in a cell in cell with a broken Trojan in your head? I'm acting as a relay for pirated connections into cell. That sounds dangerous. Pays good, though. Money is the yoke of capitalism. Thing is, it's been harder and harder to get into Cell HQ. So you infected yourself with this? They have to bring in someone with something like this. Even if they can't treat it, they can at least quarantine. Giving you an ideal spot to relay signals through your neural wiring. Exactly. Don't go anywhere. Huh. Yep. <laughs> yep, that didn't help. Okay, back to searching. The guy in the bed? He's contracted a huge. How would you know this? Have you because then we might have to quarantine you- Uh, no, I- Okay, th Oh, wait, is he gonna get something? Okay. Unfortunately, I can only try to stabilize him for now. We have to wait for a specialist before we can try anything stronger. And that's how I get a fine implement with which to open things, isn't it? <laughs> this is this is terrible puzzle design. It's really bad and aggravating and so frustrating. It really does expect you to just click on everything, exhaust every option, talk to everybody multiple times just to hope something will happen that will allow you to continue. Looks like it's full of medical stuff. And there's a scalpel, which is hey, exactly what, what I need. What are you doing to that drone? I was just checking out the hardware. It's quite some gear you guys have. I've done all I can for the moment. Let me know if it gets any worse, okay? All right, we're good. Wow, this is some really old hardware. It's going to need some upgrading if I want to make it produce anything complex. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Looks like they cut costs by only giving the module a tiny lens. I'm going to need to find something bigger in order to produce anything more complex. So I probably need it from the camera. Thankfully the table's already there. And I have my fine implement with which to open it. Make an incision. This might be useful. I'm probably destroying so many credits worth of property here. Police property at that. I can't just force the lens in. It doesn't connect to the system. Hmm. So I've got to shove this stuff back inside, right? Um, all right, so memory block. Probably need to put the epinephrine in there, right? There we go. Yeah, so that's stored inside of it. Put I that hope back it understands inside. understands its new orders. So now it can make it, but apparently it needs a new lens. Also, what am I going to do with this injector? Oh, right. The epinephrine. Of course. Once I actually get the epinephrine, I can use that to inject it into him. 
I've upgraded the optical component with the camera's super-powered lens. I would like to ask how you did that. Did you just tape it? But I'll take your word for it. There. It should be a lot more sensitive with that now. Let's see what it can do now. It didn't sound like the machine enjoyed that. At least it managed to make me a cartridge of epinephrine. <laughs> but you have no way of knowing if it actually made it correctly. Oh my god, this stuff could just be totally mismade and it could be incredibly poisonous. Yeah, this is super dangerous. The cartridge is mounted in the ejector. But here we go. Now let's see if he holds up his end of the bargain. Whoops. Going to trance, let's go meet him. Hey, the copy's gone. You're still stuck in the wall, though. Feeling better? A whole lot, thanks. I managed to get rid of the knockoff. Give me a few hours, I'll be out of the wall and can help you leave. I haven't got a few hours. What can you do now? From here? Uh, not much, but I could give you some options. I need more than helpful suggestions. I've got control of one of the utility drones. They use them for moving kit around the building. Hmm. I might be able to escape if I was better equipped. Atta girl. I've sent you the link to the drone. She'll be in your hub. Alright, thank you very much. in the lab right now. Come on, little guy. I should probably save it in case the game crashes. Please do not interrupt active drone. You won't sit still long enough to get it open. Oh, it's always a problem. Fine, take some goo. I may be good, but even I can't breach it quickly enough. That officer would see me. Let's slow it down by stabbing it with a fork. Prying it open with... Throw some food at it. I can't use it. I can't... Scalpel. That doesn't... Come on, shoo! Warning, power contact lost. Wait, you're telling me it needs to touch the floor to get power? Are you telling me the floor is electrified? I don't get it. This might be useful. Ooh. Yeah, let's go out the, let's go out the air vent. Nope. Can't, can't, don't want to click on the couple pixels for the screen, don't want to click on pull table left, pull table right, or bait table base. We gotta click on these, like, 20 pixels here for the table to stand on top of it. If I sound bitter, it's because I am. See ya. That guy's gonna have a big surprise when he comes back into the cell and finds the bot and the tarp and all that stuff. Ahem. Dr. Lau, you have a visitor. Oh! Good evening, Dr. Lau. Hello. And you are... Surely you recognize him. Mm, nope. I'm afraid you'll have to enlighten me. This is Dr. Vargas, the Central Operations Coordinator. 
Now, Galatea, there's no need to be quite like that. The fact that I am not widely recognized perhaps indicates how successful we are. Yes, you're right, Father. Vargas? Dr. Eduardo Vargas? <laughs> quite so, Dr. Lau. What brings you from the Fulcrum Tower, sir? The most grave matter, I'm afraid. One I believe you specifically to be most suited to handle. Shall I, Father? Please do, Galadea. Central, I believe the audio EM capture system in this room to be faulty. Please run a deep diagnostic on the system. Certainly, Miss Vargas. Beginning scan. We have perhaps two minutes until the diagnostic cycle is complete. Dr. Lau, have you heard of a gentleman by the name of Baxter? Mm -hmm. Dr. Adam Baxter, convicted murderer and a brilliant engineer in his time. Yes, I've heard of him. My partner had a history with him. His parole hearing and eventual release really got to Dr. Regis. Quite so, poor Viksha. I don't think Charlie ever got over it. And unfortunately, it appears that he's taking things into his own hands. You have a connection to Regis as well? Quite so. He worked for me in a research team, as did Baxter in the same project. And Viksha Regis? Precisely. We lost half of the team in one fell swoop that day. Dr. Lau, when did you last see Dr. Regis? Last night, before Central went into siege mode. Why? What's happened? This morning, Dr. Baxter was found dead in his workplace. Oh. oh no. Oh, Charlie, no. I share your concern, Dr. Lau. Central believes Dr. Regis to be the most likely suspect. He would have known that Central would be unable to provide oversight during the siege. And he had no shortage of motive, as I'm sure you'd agree. You're the controller of central operations. Why would you need to cut the camera feed with a trick like that? I apologize, but for the sake of city security... Yeah, yeah, can't tell me. Classified, ultra, violet A, etc. I'm glad you understand. I might understand, but I'm not happy about it. Noted, Dr. Lau. It just doesn't sound like him, though. He had other outlets, like his garden. I don't fully agree with Central's assessment either. That is why I'm activating you on this case. You want me to investigate Baxter's murder with my partner as the prime suspect? Isn't that a pretty serious conflict of interest? It is within my prerogative to select agents I feel appropriate for casework, if necessary. Using it to aid an old friend, a good man, like Charlie Regis, I think that's worthwhile. Remember that your primary responsibilities are to the law and to the city. I think I've heard enough. That's good to hear. I'll have Galatea t-mail the case data to you. If I can be of any further help, don't hesitate to drop by my office. At the top of the Fulcrum Tower, make an appointment beforehand. Diagnostic cycle of monitoring systems complete. No wetware or firmware anomalies detected. However, please ask Dr. Regis to stop obstructing the land's assembly. I wish you luck with your work, Dr. Lau. For Regis's sake. I'm guessing we're going to get to play as Regis and play the the missing knight and see what actually happened when he went to go meet Baxter with the gun. Once again, it just seems too easy if he's the one that simply did it. It certainly seemed like he was going to, and it certainly seemed like he intended to, but mm, I think something more is going on. Got to wait till the AI lab have had their turn analyzing her. Then she's all mine. Hmm, now I get to check her email, huh? Yep, from Vargas. Galatea Vargas. Dr. Lau, as authorized by City Systems Administrator Dr. Eduardo Vargas, please find access to the investigation's case files enclosed. Okay, just give me the case files. <laughs> what the hell is this? This is from Regis. Max Lau. Huh? I should probably actually download the case files. Ow! Hey, what was that? Hmm? Um... Was there something extra in the case files? I have a feeling I've just been infected with something. Uh-oh. 
from Central, right? Yep. Thank you for the summary of the so-called mindjacking investigations. It is evident that some of Dr. Regis's talent in investigation has found its way into your work. Please be aware that you need not also emulate his less helpful behavioral patterns. Max, it doesn't, doesn't matter what Mom said. I don't really understand why you did it either. But I'm not going to judge you. I miss you. And they won't admit it, but Mom and Dad too. Is that from her brother? Please come home, Max. That city, that life, it'll change you. Alright, so her family's not too happy about her being here. I'd better not. I've already got leads to follow. So wait, 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 hold on. Homicide breaking and entering abusive public office. Oh, so this is the Adam Baxter case files. The other one must be the mindjacking case files, I think. Okay, so yeah, what happened to Baxter exactly? Was found dead by co-workers at the Vickerman Tatsumoto Telepresence Laboratory in the Northeast Network. Cell has been contacted and case officer Lau activated for investigation. Dr. Adam Baxter, former organic computing researcher for City of Newton, recently paroled from rehabilitation sentence. Suspect is Dr. Regis, of course. Spouse of Victor Regis, victim of murder by Dr. Baxter. Was detected entering laboratories on the 10th of July and leaving 128 minutes later. Regis has been unreachable and has historically demonstrated a high anti-civil behavior index. With such a strong motive, his apprehension for questioning is a priority. Okay, and this is just the mindjacking one, right? Yep, just the mindjacking case files, so that's everything. <laughs> I could try to call Regis, I'm sure he won't answer. No answer. Let's see if there's anything different on the news. Yeah, something new. Grey Goo Incident. Hmm. Cell firefighters have this afternoon been called to the Hartgill Preparatory uh, School, where the out-of-control growth of a wetware culture has resulted in what is euphemistically termed Grey Goo. Principal Andrew... Matembi? issued a statement on behalf of the school expressing relief that Cell has been able to control the outbreak before more damage could be done, and reiterated their policy against bringing wetware into the school. Wetware, so-called due to its gelatinous appearance, is the generalized term for a number of nanomechanical products derived from organic structures. Safeguards are in place in commercial wetware to ensure that replication of the material can only occur within secure factory conditions. Hobbyist engineers have on many occasions taken it as a challenge to breach new wetware products and reactivate the material's ability to create more of itself. Such uncontrolled growth becomes dangerous when wetware no longer responds to chemical signals to cease its reproduction. It is believed that a Tampering with a recreational product was the catalyst for today's incident. While the school has been closed for repairs and decontamination, Cell has reported that four students have received only minor injuries and are being treated for burns and contamination. City Coordinator Al, um, AI Central has stated that the mass has been deactivated and poses no further threat to lives or property within Newton. Yeah, holy crap, how fast does that stuff grow out of control? Look at that picture. That shows it just like breaching through a door or whatever that is and just spilling out. That's an insane amount of gray goo. How does it replicate so fast exactly? I mean, where is it getting the energy? What is it consuming? I 
Okay, well, I guess it's time to go. Let's go to the crime scene of Baxter. Oh my god, this place is beautiful. Look at that. Wow, that's a lot of green. Excuse me. Great, they finally sent someone. You here to get the body out? Uh, maybe. I'm Max Lau, cell case specialist. No kidding. I'm the lab director, Dr. Zvidzai Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. What's your role here? I'm the supervisor for the telepresence factoring labs. Most of it's automatic. I just make sure it's all running like it should. Sounds like a big responsibility. <laughs> it's a lousy job most of the time. TP is where management sticks people they don't want in public-facing roles. You're not happy with it? For the last few years, my career has been one disaster after another. I'm just glad it's plateaued into some kind of stability. Can you tell me what happened? Baxter got killed. In any more detail? When we started this afternoon, a whole lot of samples had been tampered with. We tried to call Baxter to find out what the hell was going on in the specimen bank. And he didn't answer? He didn't. Turned out the door to the specimen bank was locked too. You haven't seen the body? No, not in person, if that's what you mean. We got the camera feed online, but it was obvious that Baxter wasn't going to be coming out. When did you last see him? Hmm, guess it could have been Wednesday? So he could have been killed any time in the past three days? Hmm. I guess, but it wouldn't fit with everything else. You've got a keen mind. What's your take on this? Hey, I'm not the detective, young lady. You know what I think? I think Regis did what they ought to have done 20 years ago. Why do you say that? Seems logical. We've got him coming into the labs on security, then we got him coming out an hour later. When we get here, we've got Baxter's corpse contaminating the specimen bag. Anything else? Well... Something strange. Since we got in, we keep finding samples that have been tampered with. Looks like he spent his hour here messing up the genomes of our specimens. That quickly? If anyone was good enough to do it that fast, it'd be Charlie. Hmm. I wonder if that's something the blackmailer wanted him to do? You knew Regis as well. Yeah, I was on a research team with him and his wife back in the 60s. Baxter, too. You've apparently known him a long time. Does this seem like something Regis would do? Oh, after what he did to Vicky, I'd have strangled Baxter, too. I tell you, if he did do it, I wouldn't blame him one bit. Do you think he did it, though? I don't know. He was always kind of shady. Tell me about it. They made him do some real awful stuff out in the hot zones. Such as... Let's just say his escape led to a whole lot of people being jailed for war crimes. Why didn't the facility CI detect Baxter's vital suddenly failing? It's a potentially hazardous environment in here. We were wondering that as well. This afternoon we noticed the monitoring system in the sample lab was in recursion. All hell broke loose when the CI suddenly realized what had happened. So either you've got a technical fault with the software or wetware interfacing. Which is unlikely, given how much they cost. Or someone breached the security systems to cover Baxter's murder. That gives me more hope. Regis would have no idea how to do that. So you worked with Regis and his wife, as well as Baxter. Did you also work for Dr. Vargas? That Papa's ass? Yeah, I worked for him. You don't care for him? He was a competent researcher, but he lives for politics. Everything was always about making the world a better place. And you don't think it should be better? It's a nice idea, just not realistic. And what we ended up making, it was actually never mind. Aside from yourself, who else works in this laboratory? There's my intern, Martin Meester, operates the factoring line. If you meet him, it's easy to see why they put him in here. And until recently, there was Dr. Baxter. Tell me about Mr. Neister. He came over from Eurofed on a study program. He's, well, he's young. I guess we're all like that in our youth. Good colleague? He's all right. He got on board with that annoying maladist trend. 
He knows how to follow instructions, so I let him get on with it. His visa still active? Dr. Lau, we do not employ undocumented illegals in this lab. Just have to check. I'm sure you understand. God, she sounds so bitter. And given what a train wreck everything's been for her for a long time, I don't blame her. Tell me about Dr. Baxter. Oh, he was bad enough to work with in the 60s. As part of his parole, they stuck a governor in his head. Since then, it's like talking to a badly written synthetic. You don't care for him a great deal. That man killed Vicky. Frankly, he deserved what he got. But you still work with him. He worked for me. It was another part of his parole. Vickerman's management persuaded centralized government that his skills were going to waste in prison. The company wanted him supervised by someone who knew him. Hence, they dragged my sorry ass in. What did you have him doing? He organized the specimen bank. It's the kind of thing we could just leave him at for hours on end. Days, sometimes. Really, it could have just been done by the facility's AI, but I had to give him something. Otherwise, you'd have to talk to him? Exactly. What happens in the specimen bank? It's where the samples of plants and growth matrices are stored. There's a huge library of subjects to work with, natural and man-made. And that's where Baxter worked? Yeah, it's not exactly taxing. I wanted to see what he could do since they put a governor in him. You left him to work alone in there? I'll be honest, he was not a pleasant man to talk to. What sort of research were you conducting in the 60s? You mean with Charlie and his wife? You might not believe it, but we were the people behind Central. Central? The city governing AI Central? The same. Newton was looking for a coordinator AI. Vargas put together a team including the new Mr. and Mrs. Regis. You could me. Regis never mentioned anything about this. It wasn't a happy memory for him. He left after the unpleasantness. We finished the project a few months later. Huh. Might explain why he hates Central's guts. I've got a feeling that's going to be really important later on. What's the purpose of this lab? Plant studies? Yes and no. It's a TP lab. Telepresence. There's a lot of research that's not exactly legal in some countries. But in Newton, pretty much anything goes. Exactly. If someone in the EU needs research done on something hazardous, infectious, or endangered, they send the orders here and we carry out the testing. What sort of research? Mostly we make new angiosperms from scratch. That's flowering plants to you. Gee, thanks. Why would people want new flowers? Sometimes it's a drug delivery method. The earliest commercial examples were fruit that grew packed with insulin. A lot of new wetware begins its life as gengineered fruit, too. Must be awkward if they cross-pollinate in the wild. And a legal headache. Part of our job is making sure the copy protection works. Copy protection in plants? Ouch. Yeah, I guess they'd want to make sure that they can't reproduce. Which could definitely be for profit, because you'd have to buy, you know, new, new seeds or new plants all the time, of course. But also it's a safety thing, too. Because if they could reproduce, then, yeah, they can create... They could... Well, grow wild, they can create strange hybrids, maybe dangerous hybrids. Wouldn't want that to happen. You seem preoccupied. That obvious, huh? We found a couple of specimens that Regis tampered with in his hour here. So I gotta run through the catalog and dig out the backups. Sounds straightforward. Not when there's 11,000 samples to take. Oh my god. Oh, I could punch Regis for this. Though, I want to shake his hand for Baxter so it kinda evens out. What's been done to the samples? He's used a customized viral vector to add huge amounts of junk DNA to their genomes. These are the last two I found, Medioflorens interensis and Linacea lawsonis. May I have a look? Do you think it'll help? Just a hunch. Huh, non-binary, quaternary data string? What do you mean? My wetware systems are interpreting the genomes of these plants as sections of an audio file. He's used the DNA to store information. Mm. You think so? It's incomplete. The two samples only make up a third of the data. But M and L, my initials? This can't be a coincidence. He's left a message. What does it say? Not sure yet. I could probably construct the whole message if I can find where he's hidden the rest of it. Safe to say it's in the other plants he's engineered. Here, take this. You can sample DNA from the plants around the lab. 
If you run out of sampling cartridges, you can reload it at this console. Thanks. How long would it take to sample everything in the lab? <laughs> Only a couple of years. We have over 11,000 subjects. You're better off looking for specimens that would fill the gaps in the clue he left. Interesting. This is going to be fun, actually. Well, it sounds like it's going to be fun. Let's <laughs> let's hope it's actually going to be fun. But yeah, searching for the 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 lost, missing, or rather hidden pieces of audio files in the DNA of plants. That's super super cool. Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth lab, and... And? Hmm. I can't remember exactly which specimen the other was. I do remember that it had yellow flowers, spiny, toxic leaves, and very, very small fruit. A yellow, spiny, toxic. Okay. What was the first one? There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria Orchidacea in the growth isotria. lab, and... And? Hmm. Can't remember exactly which specimen okay, the down. other... I do spy and fair... So I can use those as leads to go on. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I come back, I'm going to search for the hidden DNA in the plants to try to reconstruct the audio message.